when I retired, the first two years I was downhearted. I had no place to go, nothing to do. But then I gave myself a good going over. Joe, I said, you can't sit at home and waste your time like that. You gotta get out, do things. Well, the day goes by pretty fast for me now. I don't daydream at all. I just think of something, and then I forget it. That daydreaming, it don't do you no good. Keep busy, keep moving. That's the trick. You wake at 10, fold up the bed. You don't want to leave the couch open all day, you know, depressing. You cook an egg, you toast some bread. You cook for yourself, you save a bundle. You do keep track of your money, who will? You think about the day ahead. You don't go feeling sorry for yourself. It's like I said, you can sit at home and be mad at the world or get out, do things. You take a walk, you meet a chump. This one guy lives down by National Biscuit. Boy, I should see the nice Roma. You shoot the boat, you argue some, or maybe calls up a couple other fellas. Come over, play poker. You lose a gin until they come. This guy remembers what card you picked up. A <laughs> dirty bum, but even get a feed of gin, sure beats doing nothing. You take a bus, you take a train, you're going to visit your wife's grave. On the way, you read a Reader's Digest. It does you good to use your brain, or maybe you're going out to see your cousin. You bring a six pack. You take a stroll down memory lane. When we was young, we was always together. And raising cane, we go way back, him and me, all the times we had. I remember once, back in 42, it was at this fair with these girls we knew on this crazy ride. Play a spring, all your brain, the big dipper they call it. We could hardly walk as we left the car. So we staggered down for a candy bar. Then we sat and laughed in the penny arcade. At six o'clock, you watch the news. Them politicians get you so mad you throw your slippers at the sun. You cook some pranks, no big to-dos. Most nights you lay around, maybe straight up, call your daughter. You watch the game, you take a snooze, but then that's Sunday, Sunday's different. You change your shirt, you shine your shoes, cause you're going around black to the tavern. You shoot some pool, you drink some beer. You don't have to drink a lot to have a good time, you have three, four in the evening. You find a pal, you bend his ear. You meet a lot of your old crowd there Sundays, sometimes you get together, you sing the kind of song you never hear like stardust in the mood and then you get cheer last Sunday night we sang till we meet again I once did a waltz of that tune honest to God it was at a dance I was 17 and the girl was like from a magazine and the lights were low and I really mean low I think a couple of my friends had something to do with that and I kissed the cheek as we waltzed away I remember that like it's yesterday Boy, was she surprised? I can hear her say, Joe! <laughs> they drive you home from round the block. You take your cash out of your sack. You fix the bed, you check the lock, you wind the clock. When I first retired, a bunch of people told me, Joe, you got your health, you shouldn't have done it. But it's too late. I don't know why I retired. It's just habit, I guess. But I got no regrets. I keep busy, keep traveling. I go to fires every once in a while. We had this fire down on Milwaukee Avenue about three months ago. You can see the smoke coming out of the heaviest heck, but you don't see no flames, you know? Oh, uh, they must have had about 30 units down there. You, you get the news from the radio. Boy, <laughs> that was some fire. <laughs>